Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 39 of Let's Play Hattrick in San Marino with Intercalvajero. The result here is just in and we did beat SS Cedavale 7 goals to 1 away from home this week. We had Sonati scoring twice again this week. This week also followed by Francioni with a brace and uh, it's looking pretty good in the league right now. Let's just take a look at the league table at this point in time because we are actually up to second after Cesana's launcher beat Berlin United away from home. That leaves us in a spot where we can actually move past Berlin United thanks to the big victory today and um, quite nice. Hopefully we can actually try to compete for the second spot this season. That would be lovely. All right, so um, it's time for this week's scout call. Let's uh, have a call with uh, Giorgio Bolini and see what he's got for us. So this week it's Massimiliano Mori, 16 years old, and he could be inadequate. Ah, he's 16, let's just not do that. Primo, let's see, 16 years old, potential of passable playmaking, uh, no. Pietro, Risaliti, 15 years old, Right now, I would say his winger capabilities are around weak, and he could reach weak scoring. Oh, he doesn't have a specialty. I think we'll just do everyone a favor then, and uh, fire him. All right, not the best best of weeks uh, regarding youth pull this time around. Okay, anyway, let's have a look at the training match against the main team in Denmark. And this week we actually did get extra training. Very nice. Uh, hopefully that'll help some of the profit players gain a little extra uh, playmaking ability. I also want to show you this guy that I brought in trying to make a little skill trade here. So we found this passable playmaker and he's inadequate in winger, passing, scoring and even set pieces. And I got him for, um, for the price of... 70,000 Danish corner, that's around uh, seven. Well, that is actually 7,000 euros. So hopefully we'll be able to see him pop quite soon and we'll be able to flip him. Right, so in the last episode, I was actually asking you guys for a few suggestions on what to name our stadium. And uh, we did have a few good suggestions, honestly. Hamson20 came with the suggestion of uh, Stadio della Liberta, and I think that's quite cool. And he said it was basically the Liberty Stadium, but in the local tongue, so Italian. And I think we'll go with that. So thank you, Hamson20, for that suggestion. Here we go, changing the stadium name to Stadio della Liberta. Very nice. Of course, we have to look at the training as well. And this week, we did in fact have three pops in the playmaking department. Lorenzo Marazzi from Excellent to Formidable, Tommaso Sanotti, Excellent to Formidable, and Virgilio Camillini from Solid to Excellent. So looking at the playmaking sheet here, we can see that we have the three pops marked here. Sanotti, Camillini, and Marazzi. Um, Sonati to formidable playmaking, Marassi as well, and then Camalini for excellent. And if we look at the edge TMS, you'll see that Sonati is almost reaching 2100 with that pop. That's pretty good. Camalini at 2045, and uh, we hope to see Francioni rising to that level as well. Once he pops to uh, formidable playmaking as well, that will be very nice. Looking at the youth game a few days ago, we were testing out Roberto Motarella, the guy we pulled last week, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like he has a lot of uh, potential in uh, this position. Only three stars uh, in the middle of the park, but um, hopefully he, he'll show potential somewhere else. Also, in other news, Paolo Camalini in the middle of the park, the younger. Unfortunately, he seems to be a technician and uh, he went around Carlos Svensson. So it hasn't actually been reported by the youth trainer. Uh, still, he might actually get uh, get an event in the game and uh, he actually did. So we know he's a technician and uh, we don't really like that so much. Um, unfortunately, we had an idea of uh, playing him in the middle of the park uh, along with his uh, older brother, but uh, that won't be um, relevant really because it's, it's kind of bad. Anyway, let's uh just have a quick look at the league i mean we're up there in second i didn't expect this at all but even better to look at check the top scoring list sanati all the way up there and even with uh, another inter player right behind him and then our 
other homegrown midfielder, Francioni, actually being right behind them. Five goals. That is just so pleasing to the eye. I'm so happy to see how the team is actually progressing. Let's just have a little look at the training estimation. What can we expect next week? We should expect Francioni to pop next week, actually. That's pretty cool. Also, if we look at the training planner, we only have four weeks before we move on to defending, and that'll be interesting because we will look to move on uh, quite a few of the players that we are training at the moment. That'll be interesting, for sure. Defending, it'll be a little tough on the, the moral because, well, it's it's quite restrictive when it comes to formation freedom and stuff, but we have to do the training for defense sooner rather than later. Anyway, thanks you. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great weekend hat trick. See you next week. Bye.